Spillgate and in Warwickshire in the United Kingdom. What a treat! They've taken this XJ6 Specialty Workshop uh, in order for us to film it. Now, now you may think, what is so different about this 19, very early 1968 Mark 1 XJ6 with, with a cotton period? in a nice chocolate brown well I'll tell you what's different this car was actually owned by Sir William Lyons the famous power behind Jaguar I think it may have been his last car but it was certainly absolutely uh, the epitome of the early XJ and to have actually photographed uh, Sir William behind the wheel of this car would have been a treat but here we are resplendent in the English sun on Monday, July the 2nd, 2018. One of the earliest XJs and one personally owned and run by Sir William Lyons, the founder of Jaguar in old age. How absolutely sweet. They actually took it out the workshop for us, didn't they? They did indeed. They were repairing it or just servicing it. It had been serviced. I understand it had been displayed as a show at the weekend somewhere and, and coming just for a, for a minor service. But uh, they kindly have brought it out into the sunshine on this fine summer's day to show us a car, an XJ like no other, an XJ owned by the man behind. Jaguar itself. And that building behind Alan, what is that? This is the storage centre. This isn't the main museum. This is just where they store a few cars, a few cars, 350 vehicles. But on the ground floor, there are 50 of some of the most historic and unusual Jaguars in the world. And with rare and unique concept cars, a car which was used as an XJ, which was used as a fire engine, as a racetrack. Dame the limousine that had been owned by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, an XJS that had been owned by Princess Diana. So we've been in there, haven't we? And we've got we lots have. of uh, plenty of videos we want to look at. Plenty them. of videos. This is, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know where you're watching this video from, but if you are a true Jaguar enthusiast and you find yourself one day in the United Kingdom, make a note: the British Motor Museum, Gaydon, in Warwickshire, in the West Midlands of England. Quite simply, full of the most rare in this entire world. Including the first E-Type and the last E-Type? The, uh, the first production open top E-Type and the very last E-Type, two cars away from each other. Including first various other firsts in the world. And we're including the XJ220 concept car. So if you want to subscribe to uh, Peter Happer's web YouTube channel, you'll see the films when they come out. This is a remarkable place, and to my mind better than the, the than the UK's National Motor Museum in Bewley in Hampshire, although a little further from London. Thank you. 
Cummins with a top speed of 124 miles an hour, 200 kilometers now, for the 245 brake horsepower, 4.2 litre model. The car was an instant success, and for a few years there were lengthy wait times. In its original Series 1 form, the XJ range was produced until 1973, and total production amounted to 98,527 cars. All models, including the XJ 12, 12 cylinder car, introduced in 1972, and the Daimler versions. This is a once again, emphasise if you're ever in the West Midlands of England, this 